Well, to Manitoba now, as the province is reporting 360 new cases today and 18 more deaths. One of the hardest hit communities is the Shimadawa First Nation. The military is now sending additional personnel, and this is to help out this remote community in northern Manitoba. Our Austin Gravish joins us now in Winnipeg for more on this. So, Austin, good to see you. Uh, talk to us about the latest situation as we know it in Shimadawa. Well, Michael, the chief of this remote flying community is describing it as desperate. He says the First Nation has reached its breaking point. And uh, we know that this community has a, a, a very big concerning spike in COVID cases. For context, there are about 1,000 people who live there. And just yesterday, we heard from the Chief Provincial Public Officer of Health here in Manitoba saying that they had more than 100 positive cases from Shimadawa alone. So that right there shows just how concerning the situation is. Um, the last I spoke to the military a few minutes ago, they told me the plane was still in the air. It is expected to touch down um, and land in the community in the next few hours. And once on the ground, the military is going to have to act pretty quickly to set up because it's going to be dark there uh, very soon um, and we know that the military is sending both uh, regular force uh, members as well as some special medics and this all comes after several pleas from the community's chief in Shimadawa. So why is COVID-19 spreading so quickly on this First Nation, Austin? Well, Michael, it's a good question, and it's interesting because if you go back to about three and a half weeks ago, Shimadawa didn't have any COVID-19 cases in the community, so this really shows how quickly it can spread. And the one message we've heard consistently throughout this pandemic from different First Nations leaders is that overcrowding on reserve is a big concern, and the chief of Shimadawa put the blame on this outbreak on that issue. Take a listen. Well, the third known case that we've had of COVID-19 in the community is an elder in her 60s. And that home had 15 people living in that home. It was a multi-generational home. And that, that elder is currently in ICU, in intensive care. Every single member of that household tested positive for COVID-19. And so when you have so many people living in a confined space, it's prime breeding ground for this virus. Now, Michael, we know the military has been asked to send up snowmobiles as well as additional supports to get people simple things like groceries. There are so many people in isolation right now on this First Nation. The chief says people can't get basic things like groceries. Um, the military hasn't yet told us how many people are going up to the reserve, but the First Nation's uh, leadership has asked for 60 to 70 members, and that was in addition to the five members of the military who are already on the reserve. Michael? Okay, Austin, thank you. Thank you for that, our Austin Gravish in Winnipeg.